and this flipping, this shed, no matter what. The mower starts, the wheel's on. Stay here, Vic. Bobbins. Yeah, all right. I, I had a brainwave the other day. Go on, yesterday. tell me though. So I won't be able to tell anyone else until you tell me. I'm just mind the spiders up there. Um, I'm going to tell you, but I can't see you on camera. I need to tell you off camera. Yeah, go on then. Oh. Take camera off. Tell me. I just come up with this. I want to know. I just come. In fact, I'm. Turn camera off. <laughs> it's another rainy one. Well, it wasn't a rainy one. <laughs> um, first thing, it was quite bright and sunny, and I had high expectations of a nice, bright, sunny day. And unfortunately, clouds came, and I've been waiting for about an hour to get a slot for a walk in Russia. Anyway, um, probably as good as it gets. So it's another day, so you've probably all picked up by now that um, my vlogs are approximately three to four days behind. Um, so if you're watching this, I don't know, um, yeah, it's probably going out three or four days late, so to speak, uh, for a number of reasons. So today I'm going to try and sort out the Husqvarna wheel on the mower. I need to sort out, I have a big uh, builder's bucket I use for emptying the dog bin. I need to recommission that. Oh, say the, sorry, this is the uh, the old dog walk. The yeah, um, I need to recommission that. Um, and I'm going to be looking out for the biffer bin man to try and sort out how the plan works for getting the big biffer bin emptied. And I need to check whether the council bin has been emptied on the cottage. That's another one. Uh, <clears throat> and then I've got some other ideas in relation to the facility block which I'm not going to go into in case it doesn't come to fruition but I'm hopeful that it will uh, I can rush and then I'm checking this afternoon and then as I said as I'm recording this I'm going into the I'm going into the weekend and it's going to be uh, uh, going to be interesting there's quite a few in and there's been quite a few other um, campsite people commenting about the um, state of their campsites with all the rain. So if you remember last last year, we had the same. And as Easter was coming, and Easter was coming, a lot of campsites were, oh God, are we going to cancel? We're not going to cancel. And some, camps, uh, some campsites stayed open last Easter, despite the state of the land, which was really bad. And the uh, sites got trashed. We decommissioned five or six. We had to cancel um, to save um, to save the pitches, basically. Anyway, it's a month away to Easter, so let's uh, let's hope things clear up. So, so I've just got, gone on a bit, a bit of a different walk with Russia this morning. Um, I'm gonna get Russia in. I'm going to go and put my work winter coat on because I could get a bit oily today, a bit messy. Um, Thank yous. Right, let's let's uh, let's thank some people. Peter Webster. Um, apparently, I've got something coming in a package to the Travel Trolls, uh, and you sent over a super thanks. So, um, huge thank you for that, Peter. Do appreciate that, and also to Dawn Freeman. Hello, Dawn. How are you? Sending you best wishes from the Mumbai in Lincolnshire. The Mumbai, the nurseries in Mumbai in Lincolnshire, and also to Dave and Lynn. Um, who sent over coffees to get myself a drink <clears throat> so I'm not going to get myself a drink well I will get myself a drink but that what you sent over um, I'll just put into a purse um, because Sandra and her mum are coming up for a weekend in a just over a week oh look at these here um, now you can see the they've literally just I can't remember, I can't remember them being open yesterday so this is nature doing what nature does best. I mean, it almost looks like it's um, frozen on its side of the pussy willow. So things are waking up. So, so say I do want to try and get this tree down, uh, this hedge line down, should say, uh, by a couple of feet. But I'm not doing it with an electric chainsaw when it's wet. I could die. 
and I don't want to die. Well, not yet anyway. So, uh, yeah. Right, let me get Rasha inside, get her cleaned off, and I need to um, change my coat and get today started. And let's open up the... Uh, no, oh, the lights are on. Did I leave them on last night? I'm putting somebody in it today, I'm guessing. So a lot of the um, um, materials that were in here, I don't know if you, if you remember last year, um, are obviously getting used up now as these new uh, pads or bases for the lodges are uh, going down. So there's another one so in, a, in a bit. What's well, getting ready for concreting. Um, and so I need to have a look at this mower. And then somewhere over there, um, I think it's this, this builder's bucket I need to sort out. I'm probably going to spend my first bit of time this morning, half an hour or so, in the office because I've got some things I need to order and some ideas that I've, uh, that I've got. Oh, it's great. Yeah, so I think, I was explaining you the other day, it was on the recent vlog. Um, we have painted all of this lot in the past. Scrape, uh, why I brushed it off and painted it. Uh, the, the paint's called Deep Space Echo. A really weird colour. Anyway, I've got a couple of ideas what we're going to do with these. i um, got a quick fix and a longer term fix. Um, I just spoke to John and it was a bit of a eureka moment to be honest. Um, of what we're going to do to make these look a lot better same measure from the uh, from the outside uh, so I've sort of had the approval on that and then we're going to be doing something a bit more better a bit more better a bit more better <laughs> um, on Saturday my boss is up to see me on Saturday so we'll um, yeah a number of things to run through uh, and it's not stopped raining again it's just bloody relentless, uh, really, really relentless. I mean, it's no good for campsites, but the poor farmers, uh, anyway. So I've only got one check-in this afternoon and I'm hoping that they're gonna be here sort of on time-ish because um, I need to go to Sutton on Sea. I need to get a key cut for that pod. God, that's problematic that has. And I need to change my chemist over, back over now from my home chemist to um, a local chemist. Who, who, who remembers the blood pressure panic um, last year? God. Ah, what a laugh that was. Uh, and I'm not gonna change doctors or anything yet until Sandra comes up. Um, Cause it's gonna make sense basically for Sandra Barber and myself all to register at one doctor. But until Sandra's actually coming up, um, I'm gonna hang on on that and just hope I don't get, hope I don't get ill or poorly. Right, I've got a couple of people coming to see me about a couple of things today as well. Um, and yeah, hey ho, let's go. And this flipping, this shed, no matter what, what you do, how much tidying up you do. I think Dave, when he came, um, said to me, do you mind if I sort of clear the shed up, Neil? I said, no, you can go ahead and no matter what you do, it just ends up chaos. Uh, and obviously with the other one being knocked down, but I have now, I've just cleared this lot here. I'm wondering who these black chairs are. And you know, I have a hunch, I have a hunch. They belong to boatheads from when the, uh, when their awning came down, I, I seem to recollect. So I need to try and get in touch with uh, Mark and Diane um, to do that. Then if I can get that mobile, that will go back sit over there. And the see you sit in this corner here to open this up. Um, Ah, can you hear the rain? <laughs> always rains to the nurseries, especially on bin day. Have you notice on bin day, Thursday, it always rains. Oh yeah, and I've got the, um, I've got my dog bin empty and bucket back. So uh, at the moment I'm waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for a break in the weather. So normally empty that either so the dog bags go right at the bottom of the bin. So when I stand in the bin to compress it, I'm not standing on, dog bags or on bin day at the top of the bin so it goes out and um, you've got to be yeah um, back into a back into a habit but this rain is rubbish absolutely rubbish 
So the contractor lads, um, they go home at weekends, but they've been here a few weeks now, working during the week, and they, oh, poor lads, absolutely soaking. I don't normally drink coffee during the day. I normally have two cups of coffee first thing in the morning, then it's water. But every year that I've been a warder, and this is this, this is now on, on to my fifth year, I do glug um, some coffee in the mornings. Uh, and what I've been doing since I got back here a few days back, I've been going back, saying hello to Rashi and bringing my mug over and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to grab a mug out of the coffee. Out of the coffee? No, not the coffee. Out of the cafe. And um, yeah, I've got a spare jar of coffee in the caravan. So uh, when I get over there, I'm going to bring that over. Oops, that, right, the Biffer man's here. All oh, right, hang on a minute. It looks like, it looks like, what's happened? What's happened? It looks like we've got it right. Um, it looks like we've got it right. Let's go over and uh, get some stuff into the bin. All right. So I did get this right, which was, as I say, I was wondering how uh, it was working. So that worked well. That, that's a, he's a brilliant guy, our bin man. Oh, that's. We, we need a posh name for him, don't we? I mean, it's, he's not a bin man. He's, he's a fantastic, helpful, super nice guy. He's been here doing the bin since I came here. And I was saying, summer we always offer him an ice cream or a bottle of water. And uh, he's a really, really, really nice guy. Um, yeah, super, super friendly guy. Right, I'm going to take myself a cup of coffee right, with a little bit of help. Some very, very oily hands. Um, we've got the We've got the wheel on the Husqvarna. Whether this is going to start, I've got no idea. Um, turn that up. Trolley jack out of the way. And all being well, it'll start. And I'm not really going to go out because it's pissing down. Sorry, it's raining. It's uh, raining. But I can get it. Then I will put back in its proper spot and make some space again. Right, that's, that's that done. Hey yo, it's sort of that working. Oh, right, no drive. So I don't know if the drive belt's gone on this or what. No, right, the, the mower starts, the wheel's on. So soon, right. He's got the side panels off and have a look at this belt. Always a belt on the Husqvarna! Up oh, into the van. Hello, Rasha! Oh, are you all in my bed? Are you been on guard? Are you, oh, you're looking very sleepy. Have you, had a good, have you been fast asleep? Oh, big stretch. All right, we've got you some treats now. Don't grab your bone. Have you been a good girl? Hey? Oh, oh dear. What are you doing? You might have like to move for a treat, do you want one of them instead? <sighs> I've just woke, woken her up. She's going to know me just uh, grab them. I need to do a... Oh, she's going for it. Yeah, she's eating now. There you go. That's better, Russia. Yep. All right, I need to just do a couple of personal emails um, that have just come in for things. <sighs> All right, so further investigation on this Husqvarna. So, the cutter deck belt was really stiff and everything, but that could be because it's the mower's not been run, and I'm going to probably guess it's a lot of grass is clogged up in there because I think um, a cut was done when the grass is wet, and this mower hates wet grass. But at the moment now, the clutch is not engaging, and it's got this like uh, those that know will know it's got like an electronic clutch system here, which is where you can release and let it go through. And that doesn't seem to be activating um, properly. So there is another belt here, which you probably can't see. And those, if you're watching last year, we we had to put a new belt on and we changed one of the top pulleys up here. Um, but I think there's now a problem with that electronic clutch. Um, for some reason that isn't engaging the belt. So whether or not this belt, I'm not too sure. I think there's a we uh, Paul. I think his name is the uh, the mower man, as we call him. I think he came 
and have a look. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have to give him a call, basically. And then I'd say I need to have a look at this, uh, this Steger, um, trying to see what the cutting problem is on this. There's a spring, I think, is either broken or uh, needs replacing. Right, well, Steger's powering up all right. Wheel spinning, but again, I'm not going to uh, do too much on here because it's uh, grounds too heavy. Move this other way, and then we've got better access to the uh, to the husky. Love this Steger mower. When this this when this Steger is in working, it really does an amazing uh, grass cut uh, mulch. What we call a mulch. You need to go. You need to go back over the last couple of years. So once the grass has been, once the grass has been properly, properly, proper cut, uh, and we use the steger to keep on top of it, this does such a fantastic cut, um, and no bits of grass cuttings neither, because uh, it's uh, it does like a mulch cut. So right, I'm going to need to make a phone call on this one. If all else fails, call Poe, 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 Poe. Po. Who's Poe? Call Paul, the mower man. Oh, rain. It did stop. Right, I'm going to need to get myself a burger or something in a minute. Um, right, I've just spoken to the mower man and um, he just explained to me that he disengaged the drive. So with this, what you can do, if uh, you need to push it or pull it. Yeah, hang on a minute. Yeah, so it, it could just be that. So that's disengaged and then re-engaged. Let me just go careful, Neil. Go careful. That's, is it? Was it as simple as that? Yay, 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 yay. Right, it looks like that's all it was after all of that. Right, so I'm gonna have to have a bit of a, a mower frenzy now. Let's uh, put my tools away. Um, and it looks like we may all be fixed. So I, when it comes to nurseries, I have a number of my own toolboxes. That's one. That's me um, drill and do not leave them in the public domain. Things go missing. Right, so I'm going to pull the Husqvarna out and then I'm going to get the Steger out and put the Steger back, over, back, in, back in the corner over there um, and clear some space and then one day, one day, when it stops raining, we'll, um, we'll basically get the grass cut. I'm just going to leave the shoot off um, for now so that's um, if you if you don't know with the Husqvarna you can put a, a, a mulcher down the chute um, we actually got rid of it it was all knackered so the blade can catch the mulcher but we had actually um, had one but it was it was a bit it was a bit tatty but you can block it <coughs> and you can do a mulch cut on the Husky right let's uh, do a bit of a quick musical chairs with mowers. What could possibly go wrong? <coughs> what could possibly go wrong? Let's get this one out. Um. Oh. So we've got both of these, they both they both got um switches, micro switches on, so if you if you're not sat on the seat, it won't. Um, they won't engage. Uh, oh, very, very sluggish. Um, incredibly sluggish. That. That. Come off that, and then um, get this one back in its spot. And that's easy. 
and as if myself up I'm just going to take that Husqvarna for a quick spin because it still doesn't feel quite right but at least it's driving and the cutter deck is working Thank you, Paula. I need to give Paul a call back let him know that's all okay um, but before I do that the campsite warden is going to be powered this afternoon by pork pies stay a bit bobbins um, so I'll have to get in these um, bases ready so uh, they're hoping tomorrow's going to be a delivery of concrete um, hard to imagine it all being dried up it's just absolutely one big pile of mud um, very wet very muddy uh, yeah that one's got another uh, to go on it so these are the water pipes with the uh, lagging on My old pitch. <laughs> Look at that. Another base to go on there. Oh, sudden. That's the old hookup cable to where the pod was. Um, and then we did have a, another spare one. Is that the yellow one? Was the small one? I need to turn the camera off. Hang on. So those are um, spare cables or extensions. So we've got. Two pitches. Is it, oh, it to, the pitch number five can be a problematic pitch if people only have short-term um, hookup cables. And the worst ones are people who hire, and it's, it's it's always tends to be the small, like VW size camper vans. So they'll they'll hire a van for a week or a weekend or whatever, and it comes with everything you need. And some of them only have a five meter EHU cable, electric hookup cable, just five. And that's, unless you are absolutely parked right next to a hookup post, they're way too small. You should minimum of, I've always have a 20 meter one with you. Anyway, we've got a couple of extensions there because that's happened um, several times. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go and have a tidy up in this uh, step toe jar and start getting some of these, this wood out, but everywhere, you're just touching anything in there and it is just, it's sodden, wet, really, really, really wet. Uh, miserably wet. Uh, anyway, we've got we've got life in two mowers. Life without a Husqvarna working isn't worth living, is it? Um, I got a message the other day from JP. He said, uh, "Love it." Uh, Hello, you're, Dan. How are you doing? Your yeah, boy is back you, and everything. So you know stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, hi, Dan. Oh, JP, yeah, yeah, he sent me a message as well about us being best friends and that. Yeah. Yeah, he wasn't happy. No, no, he's, he's just really rejected, isn't he? Well, he's trying to be my best friend. No, no, I'm back, Dad. I mean, I mean, you know, in, in life you can only have one lover. Are you a lover or a, fight or a fighter? Well, I didn't... No, I'm not a lover or a fighter. Oh, right, OK. What's in the box I'm there? just a good friend. I don't know. Oh, right, OK. All I've right. just come in and seen this, but it's obviously not being posted. It's just a... Oh. Someone off-site must have left this. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, so you got delivery, I haven't got a delivery, so I'm waiting for a delivery, my delivery's not come, but your delivery coming, and I haven't got a delivery. I've got deliveries coming. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So the, we keep accumulating stuff and the stuff keeps coming and stuff keeps going out, doesn't it? Yeah, well, Mazzy said to me the other day, oh, I'll take that, uh, what do you call these? Uh, air dryers. Uh, air dryers, yeah, uh, yeah. Take that dryer down, and then I came down, and I saw there were two already here, so I took it back. I think one of them may be mine. I'm not a big fan of them. I have a maiden and a fall down maiden myself. Uh, well, we've got three better. at the moment. Three? Yeah, two which were left by the last people, which are really <laughs> yeah. good ones. And one of them is the same as this, which you ended up throwing on yeah. us. And we got stuck with Don't it. Don't then? No. Oh, put them down if you want. No. I, like, I, like to, I like to get rid of my crap and go in my garden and find uh, things like that. It tucks away the thing. Yeah, put yeah. some fencing up the other day on my, on my picture, you see. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, uh, all taking shape, so... Yeah, we'll have to, um, we definitely need to get in the woods. I just, I'm gagging to get in the woods with you, Dan. I'm not even not put a trail cam out, just, just to go in the woods. Well, I've got a new trail cam I'm about to review. Well, you know, so I'll get on as well. You go on. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, got uh, things. So we just there. Uh, yeah, the reviews, the trail cam re- reviews are back. Well, no, I'm only doing this one because I'm under contract. All oh, right, okay. Um, it's the way the mop flops. But my channel's completely changing, as you know. So it's not all about trail cams. Are you anymore. desperate? I'm desperate. What's your name again? Desperate Dan discovers. All oh, right. And the guy who drives the uh, the, 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 the the digger, what's, what's his name? His name is Digger Dan. What did your name used to be? Deep Digger Dan. So if he digs a great big hole, is he the real Deep Digger Dan and you're the imposter? No, he's Digger Dan. I'm Deep Digger Dan. I know how to please the ladies. <laughs> Come on, with a Deep Digger Dan. Right, okay, lovely. It's a um, beautiful day, isn't it? It's all right now. Yeah. I'm having a really good day. I've woke up full of energy because yesterday it rained all day. Yeah, it rained all yesterday, so pretty much stayed in bed. It was rubbish, but today I woke up and I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I've got Muscovana going. Muscovana. Yeah, Milski. What's that? A cigar? Yeah. No, 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 me orange mower. So, oh, so just to mower. really annoy you, what I'm going to do is when the contract is finished in summer. Yeah. I'm going to get the Husqvarna out at like 8 o'clock in the morning and mm. I'm going to park it outside your van and I'm just going to leave the engine running. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I've got... Uh, it's coming tomorrow. That's what I'm waiting for. Oh. Uh, yeah. Soundproof screening. Oh, no. It oh. goes 18 foot high. Oh, yeah. It's got a roof. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where you, put you can hands? see through it. Yeah, well, you put so you can see me and wave at me. So we've got to have a look at your, uh, uh, your contract, shall we? Um, My contract doesn't yeah. say anything about putting soundproof screening up. Uh-huh. You can't see it. Oh, I can let you into a secret. What? Well, I can't, I can't say on camera. It won't be a secret then, will it? No, look, but if you can keep a secret, just you and me. Yeah, alright. I, I had a brainwave the other day. Go on, yesterday. tell me though, because I won't be able to tell anyone else I'm until thinking. you tell me. I'm just mind the spiders up there. Um, I'm going to tell you, but I can't say you on camera. I need to tell you off camera. Yeah, go on then. Oh. Turn camera off. Tell me. I just come up with this. I want to know. I just come up with, in fact, I'm going to. Turn camera off. <laughs>